I'm just going to throw a body kick, left or right, don't care what it is. Here, I'm going to absorb the shot. Sorry, mate. And again, here, absorb, and then I'm going to kick the standing leg. Okay, that's what we're going to focus on first. Absorb the shot, kick the standing leg, okay? So I'm pretty sure everyone will be happy with the step in and kick. Um, you get choices whether you want to kick back left and right. Um, when Fraser kicks with that right leg, I personally like to come back on the inside here. I know it's going to be very difficult for Fraser to get back to check that anyway, but this inside bit of your leg really hurts when you get kicked. So I want to cause as much damage as possible. If he's going to be throwing a massive kick at me, bang, boom, I'm going to boot that leg as hard as I can basically to try and dissuade him from kicking me. But that's not to say that you can come back on the outside, okay? Same with the, the left kick, he goes to the left, heat up, boom, I'm going to step over and kick that leg. With that one, I usually find you'll have to take a small step across here to reach that back leg, especially as Fraser's legs are 14 foot long. <laughs> um, I'm left foot dominant, so a lot of times I will actually just come round here and kick the, the back leg, but it's just whatever works for you. So with your partner, Fraser's going to throw a kick, boom, boom, kick the leg. Throw the other side, please, boom. Oh, a couple more each side, or one more each side. Go, oh, oh, there. Go, oh, oh, back to there. Okay? From here, Fraser goes with that right kick. I'm going to step across and kick him as he's kicking me. So you, yeah, you just try to catch him out. You're trying to not absorb any of his power at all and step into his shots. So we're here, he throws there. Oh, well, stepping across. It's kind of something called the cut kick because you're, you're cutting underneath. I think Guy calls it the under kick. See if he goes with the left, there, step over, boom, land on that shot. Okay, so just do a couple more on the, on the right here, boom, step across, step across, do one more excited, sorry, step across there, and then step across, kicking underneath. Watch your power. So the first one we're going to do is the overhook catch. So off that right kick, I'm going to look this small overhook and catch here, and I'm going to use this hand to kind of cushion, okay? We're going to go for some sweeps today. Um, I'm going to do the sweeps quite slow, but I eventually want to try to do them like, like straight away, super fast, okay, when the guy's kicking. So the, the catch is just a small overhook, a small step and a turn, all at the same time here, and I'll use this hand just to kind of cushion that a little bit, so Fraser throws here, overhook catch, here, okay, and Fraser's tall, but he's still hopping a little bit, that's good, if it's somebody my own size, then I, he's probably really going to be hopping here. From here, simple sweep, I'm going to look to move towards Fraser, I'm going to kind of give him a little push in the chest and then I'm either going to sweep this way or I'm going to sweep this way. I basically want to touch his leg as he's hopping, there, and start taking him down, that way, okay? Wish you were smaller. <laughs> so from here, I'm going to catch, move in and catch Kiki's leg out from underneath him. So it kind of leads into what we're just doing, someone's kicking and you're kicking the leg out. From underneath him, okay? One more time, guys. Catch, push him, and then kick his leg from underneath. I was probably kicking a little bit too high there, shooting. Try to catch him on the hop. If you can brush his leg either way when they're hopping, you're laughing. Cool? Nice, buddy. Let's go. On this side, I'm going to look to underhook catch it, so I'm going to build this wall. You can take a step in and slow it down, you can kind of take a slight step away to take the kind of cushion, uh, take the power out of it. This other hand is going to come underneath and I'm basically going to cover where my watch was. There. Okay? Now traditionally a lot of times we've came up, we started to bring this across and then start attacking around here. So Fraser gives me the leg here, there, round and going like this. Okay? We're going to, oops, <laughs> steal my glove. <laughs> we're going to change that a little bit. We're actually going to keep the keep the keep the kick where it is, so we can attack a little bit quicker. The problem I found with this one here, when Fraser starts to drag across, guys who are good will keep on the way back out and stop you from being able to yes, yeah, sweep them. Or they go from here; they're already pulling back out of this. Okay, so you can't really hold it as well. So what we're going to do instead? Sorry, Fraser. <laughs> I'm going to catch and move in straight away. There. So all we're doing is catching. I'm going to take a step up. I'm, as I'm stepping up, I'm lifting up my elbow. And I'm just going to block him from stepping backwards. Okay, pretty simple, right? Catch. Oh. 
and then depending on your sport, you either stand over them and do that, like Thai boxing, or MMA, you punch, punch his legs out. Or boxing, you get massive, you both get disqualified. <laughs> mix, up the, mix up the timing as well, so we can kind of start to play around with it once our partner's comfortable with it, and Fraser can just launch that in, oh, start to go, take him down. You, we always, always kind of go on about this, if I can dictate what Fraser's going to throw by putting my body in certain positions and leaving certain gaps, Known what kind of a, a fighter he is through what we've been doing, you can get a feel for what people are going to throw, um, and then be at like a half step ready. So if I, for example, if I'm moving this way, I'll sometimes do this to guys. I'll I'll move and I'll keep a distance that I know that the only thing he can really throw at me is a as a long kick, as a long body kick. So I'll kind of be circling here and just waiting for him to kind of throw that kick when I'm either going to catch it or. Here, but oh fuck, I'm going to start back the other direction. So I don't actually have to have amazing reactions. I just have to read what he's doing and give him, give him a little bit of bait, and then just let him take the bait, and then I'm, I've got my counter ready for it. Okay.